Okay guys, welcome back to another video. So, um, in this video I want to take this one apart. And this is my old 60 amp hour battery from my BMW i3. And the reason I have it here is because I just uh, did a swap to a 94 amp hour one. And uh, way improved range, obviously. But um, So I kept the old one and uh, I want to take out all the modules from this one. Uh, try to sell them one by one. I want to keep one for a separate project. So in this video, um, I want to take it apart. I, I want to look inside, see how hard it is to um, take it apart, uh, take out the modules and like um, see how dangerous it is. Uh, I did get some advice before and uh, it doesn't seem that hard or dangerous. Uh, so yeah, we're going to try it. So first thing is to remove these uh, 60 screws around the edge here and Torx T25. And there should also be some form of a silicone, so you're probably going to see me cutting for like ages and ages in that. So let's tear it apart and uh, see how it goes. Got it loose. Not gonna be using that one again. Oh, it's only like um, it's a gasket. It's not like silicone. It's just a gasket. Uh huh. That was easy. So here they are. All eight of them. Yeah. And it looks so clean. I mean, obviously it should be, but compared to the outside and how easy the top lid came off, I were expecting this to be like on there, really, really on there. But it's not. That was easy. Way, way easy. So this is pretty cool that in the video that they sent me from Bavaria, Lilith. Titta på batteriet. Alt ser veldig bra ut. En liten klupp opp på den ene festet der sånn, men det er ikke noe problem som vi ikke kan gjøre noe med. Så du slipper å bytte kasse. Nå har jeg lest av alle serienummerer på cellemodulet. Alle åtte. Og så har jeg byttet den store enheten som sitter der. Det er SME, minnes elektronikk. Og så har jeg lest av serienummeret på hver en sånn boks som sitter på hver selvmodul. Det er ting jeg må ha når jeg skal programmere bilen. Så alt ser bra ut forløpig. Og nå skal jeg sette på nytt lokk. Og så skal jeg ta en kontroll med et verktøy vi har som vakuumtester. Og sjekker at alle relerer virker som de skal før jeg får satt i batteri. De show me that this is the control module for the... For the battery for the modules and here we can see that we obviously have the the main connector the input output and uh, this looks like it's gonna be then the the cooling or heating system so that's pretty cool and then here in the bottom i'm gonna be careful where i touch uh, we can see all of these uh, i don't know what to call them like rails going under and then there's like actually a lot of space around here to uh -huh. I'm pretty impressed it looks it looks really good it looks simple too and they're not that big the modules it's like compared to my hand it's like hmm pretty small and, uh, let's see how just like that whoa that was easy Okay, so that one just lifts up like that. I started with just measuring one cell and then we get 3.93 volts and then I did 
taking for two thumbs, three, four, twelve cell, forty-seven point one volt. So that's good. Uh, I mean, obviously it should be good. Uh, but if we check uh, for one cell, each cell is um, 3.93 volts, so that's really good for uh, storing. Um, I believe uh, optimum storing voltage would be... Thank you.